Good Monday afternoon. So I've been neglecting all of you and I apologize. I haven't been recording for almost a day and a half. So I've already got some stuff, a couple of things done. So uh, it is Monday now. I started last night. This is a Grand Design Reflection bumper pull. And he has the Hensley hitch on here, which that is a pretty awesome setup. Uh, he pulls it with a 250 uh, uh, Ford with the 67 diesel, but the RV is a 315 RLTS, and we are. I've already been up on the roof. I've already laid a couple of things out. One or two things. So I've already got it wired. It just has to be fastened, including the uh, panels have to be fastened down. Um, took about three and a half hours, but I got the uh, large gauge wire going down the two gauge to uh, get the uh, all the power coming in from the solar all the way down. I've already got the box wired. It's already completely done inside it. I just needed to get the rest of my wire down. Um, so. That's what I've done up here. Now on the inside, I've already kind of got it planned. Take you in there with me and show you where I'm at with that. I'll climb down this ladder and hopefully not fall. Leanna's probably freaking out right now because I'm doing this one-handed. I'm not even looking at the ladder. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so we're going inside. Okay, so inside. Sorry, the radio was playing. Had to stop it. So we got uh, got to open a can of worms there. All right. So um, here are the uh, wires coming in from solar. I shot them underneath the um, bathroom under the shower. And uh, whenever I dress things out, I'll take them all up, attach them across the top, and then they'll come down and they'll go over. Uh, the converter existing that will be coming out the multi plus will sit right in this area and right down here on this side we'll have the shutoffs and everything it has this very nice looking louvered panel that goes right here right in the center we're going to cut it in half then we're going to my specialty make it a door so that he can open the door here and be able to get to the shutoffs, the multi plus, uh, fuses, that kind of stuff. Um, the 712, which is why I started recording, I just remembered. So, this area, they took the panel that was here, this panel right here, and it was kind of centered in the hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to go up right here, take this piece out, same thing on the bottom, take the bottom piece out, and then we're replacing this, or just going over this with a new cover plate that looks like that. So it's not exactly perfect um, because it's not in the hole yet. So got to cut some wood out here and here, and then uh, get it all installed and get the... Uh, the wire for the 712 ran down to the uh, shunt. So, we're done. Okay, so as you can see, we have uh, upgraded the way that this thing sits in here. I do have a little gap at the top. I will be getting some brown caulk and just go all the way around the edges, but it uh, came out pretty good. We had to move the panel up to put the Victron in at the bottom. Okay, as you saw, I had some things removed from the walls right here as I was doing the installation. And uh, when I drilled my holes up above on the roof, I was one 
stud too far this way, so I actually ended up in this chase with the wire. So what I had to do was I had to check it, to check and make sure that that was the case because I just could not find the wire. I pulled this uh, Max Air um, manual control. I pulled it off. It looked in, and sure enough, that's where the wires were. So then, what I did was I came down here, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but going that way, I really cannot see the screen. I don't know how good of an angle you're looking at, but um, I drilled a hole that way through the stud, and then I was I fished this skinny wire through first, and then I used that as a pull wire to pull my big wire through. Um, you don't always have to pull the, you know, your, your main wire that you're doing on the first run. You can pull something that's smaller and easier to work with through first. Um, uh, once I got the pull wire through and then, um, we ended up leaving it in in case he wants to add stuff on the roof later, like a wee boost or something like that. Um, and then, uh, we took the wire and went, you know, across that way. I also had this out, which... Now you can see it, it's a little USB. So when I was putting in the, the 712 BMV, I could not get the wire to go down from up here going down this way. And it's normally pretty difficult to go up, so it's always easiest to go down when you're fish, trying to fish wires. So I pulled this out, but I did fish from here up, because I could not, I could only get it to go maybe three or four inches down inside the wall. But from here I was able to get um, a, uh, piece of copper ground cable grounding wire um, shoved it up through the hole found it pulled it out attached the telephone cable for the 712 to it pulled it to this point and then went from this point down with the uh, ground cable as my utility tool to run wire and then um, you know I came out with the rest of the wires uh, down underneath and then uh, my um, shunt is going to be on that side so I do have to go across and uh, get that wire across over to where the batteries are going to be. Okay, so we're now um, on the bedroom which is on the other side of the bathroom and we're going under the shower. And down here, this is the other end of our solar wire. I'll get down here and show you what I've found. And doing my digging so if you look at the drawer here it stops here but the framing goes all the way back so I can take and mount an MPPT on this wall back here in the back and then he has room for two because move this out of the way there's another drawer up here it can go one two I can mount a, a battery right there in that area uh, with plenty of room to spare. It'd be laying flat on its side, facing this way, cabling coming down. And then um, down here on the bottom, let me, sorry, let me get the camera out of here. It's, uh, it's right beside the bed, it's a little tight. So down here on the bottom, I can get three more. I can get one vertical standing up right here, Another one right here, same thing, and another one right here, same thing. The only thing that I have to change or do differently is take this, take the water off the coach, and loosen it up, turn the, the pipe so that it goes this way instead of going this way. That'll just help alleviate it being in the way. Uh, this is an interesting thing. This is a, I think they call it an air gap valve. If you ever start smelling nastiness whenever you dump your tanks or just at any time, find these they're in your coach there's probably one near a shower one near every sink um, and um, there should be one from the black tank somewhere too a lot of times if you're in a fifth wheel they put it down in the basement um, but this valve is only like eight dollars what it does is it's supposed to allow air to flow this way into the tank but not back out into the coach and um, sometimes when they wear out you know after years uh, uh, it's, it's just a cheap easy thing to fix it's only like eight or ten bucks it's an easy thing to fix so anyhow this is the 
wire for the uh, 712, which I'll be putting it on right here with having all the batteries will come and, and then connect to here. There are six batteries in this system and I'm still working on what to do. Well, you can't see me at all now. Uh, trying to figure out what to do for the last two. So he said he'd be willing to give up the bottom drawer, but that's not how I work. I want to fit them in somewhere so that he doesn't lose any space with this system. We're doing uh, six batteries, uh, four panels at 1280 watts, and let's see what else? Uh, battery monitor and a 3000 watt multiplus. So let's get back at it. Morning. We're working on the easy starts this morning. I've got two of them going on this system. So uh, these are Pullman. I don't even know what model, but pretty much they're all the same. If they're you know less than about three or four years old, um, occasionally there's some wiring hiccups. But as a standard, um, to connect one of these, the which model is this? It's the 23 amp max uh da, 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 asy 364 x20 ip easy start it has uh four wires on the umbil uh, umbilical cord um you got your white orange black and brown the connections are very simple what you do is you take the white wire off of the cap get it off of here without cutting yourself. be very careful because if you run your hand up like this you will cut it on the metal it's always best to try and grab it with a set of pliers but the white wire that came off of the cap all you do is you cut it off strip it further back and then connect it to the brown and then put a crimp cap on it tug on your wire to make sure that you made a good connection and then the white wire that came with the uh, from the easy start goes in place of where the white wire that you just took off was which is the start capacitor So in here, let me uh, tilt you down a little bit. Tilt me down a little bit. Okay, so I'm push this out of the way. Okay, so this is where the white came from. If you open these up by bending them out, then if if your Easy Start comes with a pre-crimped ter uh, terminal, it makes it easier. For those to stick on onto the uh, blade, your orange goes over there with the red. You can always give your wires a little tug to make sure that they're snug on there. 
way. And then the black wire, if you find this purple and black junction right here, I'll spin it back out. So, just take and cut this off. Make sure you have the power off because this has, uh, it's hot. It has 110 on it if you don't. Obviously the power is off. So there's that. And all three of those are very well connected. Take that. There we go. Give everybody a tug. All that. Done. Now all you have to do is your, you know, your wire management of uh, getting all of your cord. Uh, I took the uh, goop out of there, so I'm gonna put it back. And over here, I put two short screws up in the top of it here, and let it stay right there. Underneath here, I. Um, strap the wire there is normally a, an extra hole right there for you to be able to strap the wire and then when I come up here I strap the wires here and there and then they're all done okay so and this is what the finished product look like looks like minus the um, the screws because I forgot them down below so there will be two screws holding that in and then you got it fastened here and a couple here and then always reseal there's a reason that the manufacturer put it there so put it back like you found it and uh, you know all your connections are behind here so that's an easy start on a Coleman Mach 15 so But it's okay, I'm a professional. My dad's a plumber, he knows what I'm doing. Totally just kidding.